how come is it, Sean, that a small group of people, let's call them an insurgency, uh, without really much funding, can disrupt one of the world's largest highways? Yeah, this is the news this week that BP has stopped its shipping going through the Red Sea because the Houthi rebels, based out of Yemen, are terrorising and attacking uh, merchant shipping, which is going through the Bab Al Mandab Straits, which is the narrowest part of the Red Sea, just near the Gulf. It's only about 20 kilometres wide. You can see the ships going through, and therefore it's relatively simple for the Houthis um, to attack them. Um, now, there's a couple of questions here. Why are the Houthis involved? Well, short ask answer is they're funded by Iran, the same way as Hezbollah and Hamas is. Uh, they want to see, the Houthis want to see the end of America and the end of Israel. They've watched their brothers in Hamas fighting Israel and they want to get involved. Um, and this is the best way they can get involved by targeting what they claim is Israeli ships and any ships that are linked in any way um, to Israel. Of course, it doesn't stop global shipping because one way of, from the Mediterranean is through the Suez Canal, down through the Red Sea, through the Bab al-Mandab Straits and into the Persian Gulf. You can go all the way, the long way around Africa, past the Cape of Good Hope. But it takes an extra two weeks to do it, adds 30% to the cost of it. And of course, if it takes two weeks longer, that's two weeks before the ship gets in, gets unpacked and repacked to go off again. That has huge implications for global trade. So the real issue is now is America has stepped up. They put uh, USS Carney into the region. The Brits put um, uh, HMS Diamond in. They've been very busy shooting down drones already. But at the moment, and they've, they've announced an initiative called Prosperity Guardian, which is other nations coming in to provide military support for merchant shipping. But the real question here is, yeah, you can provide an umbrella for merchant shipping, in which case Houthis will just keep having a go at you. Eventually, attack is the best form of defence. What's going to happen? Is America, are the, are the coalition going to start attacking the Houthis? That, that might be very difficult to do. But what looks much more likely, it's happened in the past, is where the US attacks Iran, i.e. the people funding this, um, the, puppet, the puppeteer rather than the puppet itself. Um, and that would have a grave risk of escalating this conflict beyond the um, Israel-Hamas border. But in a way, probably the US and the international community can't see another option, really, mm. because if you're going to keep world trade flowing, You've mm. got to stop this mischief mm. um, from um, from the Houthis.